guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to level up your trading. If you're a beginner that is just starting out and maybe you're only making $10 a week, you're doing everything right, but you may have the question of how can I level up? How can I go and take this next step to follow my path to be a successful trader? So we're going to be talking about some tips, some tricks, and everything you guys pretty much need to know about swing trading so i hope you guys all enjoyed this hit that like button subscribe and if you guys are like who is this guy wearing a avenger shirt my name is carter i'm a full-time swing trader in the stock market and i have been for over six years and with that being said we do have an amazing school where i teach people my strategies my approach how to find undervalued stocks we have private live streams we have quizzes we have a group chat it's literally a one-stop shop for all of your trading and swing trading needs so check it out down below and you guys can use code learn to get 50 percent off so check it out down below you won't regret it and guys let's jump into this here so the first thing the number one thing this is probably the most important thing if you are watching this video this is the main thing i want you guys to do and that is to journal your trades journal everything about your trades i want to know your entries your exits your risk management skills the criteria of why you bought the stock and you don't need this fancy dandy journal that i use i sell this on amazon it's awesome it keeps everything all in one place but if you don't want to spend the money on this i get it you can literally use a 99 cent journal from the dollar store but more importantly, why you're going to journal, it's very simple. You're going to review your trades. You're going to be you're going to look at what's working and what's not working. That little that little tip right there is going to save you literally years of headache because you could if you didn't journal your trades, maybe you watch somebody on YouTube like me like me and you're trying to follow my strategy to the T. You're trying to follow everything I do. And, and the thing about trading is everybody is a little different. So you could be trying everything I'm doing or everything another trader is doing, but you're just missing something small. And you could be journaling and go, oh, well, I'm buying here, but on these recent trades, if I waited for confirmation, waited for a certain criteria, I would be profitable. Boom, there you go. I highly recommend getting a trading journal. You won't regret it. I'll put this down below for you guys and look at how awesome the inside is. I'll put it in. So you guys can track your performance, your setup, your checklist for entry. It's honestly, it's a one stop shop for, for your trading journal. All right, the next thing here I wanna talk about is using different time frames. Using different time frames is super, super important. So. You guys can see here that ticker symbol AJG here is a stock that we recently took a position on and it's been painting out very, very well for us. You guys can see it hit that 90 day moving average line, acted as support. We had a really good amount of buying pressure out of this position. Everything's looking good. No moving average lines in sight. Now, if we go to a lower time frame, you guys can see that things change you guys can see the sell-off the resistance there was a lot more resistance lines so in my opinion looking at several several time frames before you buy the position the reason why is one time frame could be telling you one thing and another could be telling you another another thing one time frame could be finding support one could be resistance the higher up you go so if you go from the daily to the weekly to the monthly in my personal opinion what i have a tendency of seeing the higher up you go the longer you're going to be holding positions i took a trade on disney a while back using the quarterly the quarterly chart and let's actually pull it up so you guys can see we took a trade here on that uh, 90 day moving average line normally the trades i'm in are six to nine days i held this position for two quarters, so literally six months, I held this position for, right on that 90 day moving average line, you guys can see the recent support there. But using different time frames is crucial for your trading and I would highly recommend it. Uh, it just helps you get a better understanding of the stock and where it can go. The next thing I wanna talk about is using, using 
leverage, but not the leverage that you're thinking of like margin. Use the leverage of technology to your advantage. So use sites like Moomoo, which is the broker I'm using. Let me, let me pull it back. So you guys can have good charting, good scanning. Use sites like Finvez, Finvez, help you find those stocks, help you look for opportunity, help you see what's going on with the market. Use as many, as many software technology that you need to be comfortable with. Personally, personally, I don't like to overcomplicate my charting, so I keep it very simple. I only use Moomoo, I'll use Finvez, and occasionally Thinkorswim for the scanner. Three is plenty for me. I don't want to have a million different charting. Uh, I love the expression miss. Make it simple, stupid. M I S S. Don't overcomplicate your trading. It's it's a recipe for for disaster. All right, let's move on to the next thing here. The next thing I want to talk about is very very important here, and this is continue to learn. Continue to learn. I've been a full time swing trader for six years, and I consider myself a student to, to the market. If you think you know everything about trading, you're you're literally one trade away from your account getting blown up. I when I started out, I thought I knew everything about trading. I obviously watched some videos. I took a couple of trades and. Uh, I blew through an account very, very fast thinking I knew everything about trading. So consider yourself a student. Continue to review those trades. Continue to invest in courses like mine. Continue to learn. Watch YouTube videos. Stuff like that will go a long way. And even just watching like news articles or you know news sites and keeping up to date on stocks and the stock market is crucial. All right, the last thing here is very very simple and this is to master technical analysis so technical analysis is what traders use to determine if they should buy a position so let's talk about uh a stock here that we recently traded here so this is ticker symbol a j g here so for me technical analysis includes indicators like right here we have that 90 day moving average line we also have the 200 day moving average line these act as support so you guys can see Hits it, we have buying pressure. Hits it, buying pressure. Hits it in the past, buying pressure. The difference between the 200 and the 90 is the 200 is just a harder support. You guys can see in the past, it's dipped down below that 90 day moving average line, the blue line. Compared to the 200, you know, the 200 is just harder, harder support. Now, this green line is considered the RSI, which is a technical indicator traders use to help find undervalued plays. You guys can see it was trading for about a 27. The last time it was trading for a 27 was back in here where we had this good move. Previous to that was in here where we had this good move. So we had a lot of good future uh, potential with this position. Now, what we do here, it, anytime I place a trade, we want a we wanna checklist. So stock on an upward trend, is there support? You know, So moving average lines with this stock here that we traded was the support. What's the RSI? check it's under a 30 that's what we like go to a lower time frame you guys can see the heavy support here we got in on the breakout right here our average cost right here is 282.50 with the stock being 286 we're already up on our money the next goal is to have it hit 300 and to have a golden cross where the lower moving average line breaks up through the higher so that 90 breaks up the last time it did that was back man it's been a while was back in here you guys can see where it broke up and then rallied its way up so that's what we're looking for with this trade here i'm excited to see uh and get some buying pressure out of it but technical analysis is crucial for your trading so learn as much as you can i highly recommend it you know and just paper trade focus on learning focus on base hits don't expect to get rich quick and doing that will really help put you ahead of others. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.